All right. It's in the Bible. I'm just preaching. Come on, boys. What's in the Bible? Waiting for the real Trump. In 1 Corinthians, <laughs> the first part that I read for you, the interesting notion of sound is an arresting moment in Scripture because it makes plain that sounds are critical. Sounds are important. I think about how sound is important, especially to black folk, because the sounds we hear and see have often been the instrument of our knowledge. If you read the history of Western philosophy, you'll see a bunch of references to sights. People like Descartes and Immanuel Kant, mm -hmm. and when you read a guy named Richard Rorty, he wrote a book in 1979, Philosophy and the Mirror of Nature. The mirror, the glassy essence of the mind was how in Western philosophy, people thought about knowledge. The mind was like a big mirror or glass that reflected the truth. But for black folk, knowledge has been through a different sense. The sounds that we have produced establish a kind of geography of desire inside of us. We build upon that geography of desire architectures of meaning based upon what we hear. That's why the oral tradition mm -hmm. was so important. 